I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, oh my god, I, good morning, I just woke up. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. I stalked the girl that I'm not supposed to be stalking on social media, and then I just went into the bathroom to pop a pimple. Hi! I was laying in bed last night talking to my boyfriend about my mentally well morning that I'm gonna have today, and I already fucked that up by stalking the girl that I'm not supposed to be stalking on social media the second I opened my eyes. Colin's been living with me for, I think like a week and a half, two weeks now. Today was his first day at work. So it's me and you, baby. We back. No boys allowed. Fuck that. He went to go leave this morning at like four o'clock in the morning and he was downstairs like chilling for a little bit. And I heard the scariest noise outside. It sounded like, I don't know, it sounded like cannibals from like a horror movie. Like all like yelling together. And I was like, Colin, what is that? He was like, it's a pack of coyotes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna listen to my meditation in the morning. I'm gonna throw on my guided meditation. And that's what I'm gonna do to keep myself awake. I'm not gonna go scroll on social media. Like, ew, that's what losers do. Ew. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> was I just talking and there was like a pussy... Ew. I popped my pimple before I took that clip and I guess I didn't notice that it was gushing blood. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So, for a majority of my life I had hair extensions. From sixth grade to like two years ago when I was 23. I had hair extensions and recently I've been missing them. I've been missing my high pony because my hair doesn't like I'm one of those people where my hair doesn't grow past this length. Um, it never has so I miss my high pony. So I got my extensions back in six days ago and you would never know because I took them out five days later. I was just like why am I suffering? Right? Like I wasn't used to having them anymore and it was just they were really long. They were really thick. Um, I was like, I don't really want to suffer all summer just to have long hair. So I already got them removed yesterday and I got my hair cut. And I just think this is my thing now. I think I'm over the extensions. Um, there, there's a big ball of hair laying on my kitchen counter right now if I ever decide to put, put them back in. But the second they were out, I stripped down to nothing and went skinny dipping with Colin in my pool. And I was like, the sun was hitting the pool like just right. And I was like, yo, these Instagram photos would eat it, bro. I fear they didn't eat and they all looked like this. <laughs> Colin was like, let's try a different angle. I was like, no, I just think it's not my day. I'm at the gym. It's really funny being able to just walk down the hallway and go to the gym. I have a home gym. While I'm running on the treadmill, I create like some wild scenario in my head to keep me entertained and keep me as if I'm like watching a movie of my own life in my head so that I can, like I play music and I pair the music that I'm playing to like a scenario that's like made up. You know? Like, you know when you're falling asleep at night and you have like scenarios in your head? I do that while I'm running on the treadmill to keep me like, to keep my mind off the fact that I'm running, if that makes sense. So if you ever see me running on the treadmill, I'm probably like, <laughs> I'm probably like performing with Thomas Rhett on stage in Nashville and like me and Colin had broken up like six months prior and he's there with his new girlfriend, like watching me perform on stage and I'm like looking really skinny and fabulous. Okay, I have to make a coffee and then I have some house updates for you. First off, let me put you on. I've been drinking this Wandering Bear cold brew forever now and they sent over this new flavor. It's so good. This toasted coconut flavor with the little spout, the little box of Joe. This is the best flavor ever. I just make it with a little bit of oat milk. Mm. I was just feeding all of the cats and while I was spooning out the wet food into their bowls, the kitten jumped on the counter and knocked the wet cat food spoon out of my hands and I had to catch it 
like this on the counter in my bathrobe. So now my bathrobe is covered in wet cat food in the washing machine, which is probably good in hindsight because I've never washed the bathrobe. Uh, but are you supposed to wash bathrobes? Because you only ever wear a bathrobe when you're clean. So do you even have to wash them? Don't call me disgusting, I like genuinely don't know. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so oh! I got excited, someone's calling me. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. Uh, the plumber is outside, he wants to come in and install the toilet, if that's okay with you? Oh, sure, okay, yeah, I'll go outside and get him. The plumber is here to install my toilet. A bidet. I'm gonna have a bidet in my bath. Okay, I need to go get the plumber. It was the plan all along to have a bidet, but then I moved into the house and there was no bidet because they put in the wrong toilet. And so my bidet is here. That's exciting. I need to go outside now. Do I have anything embarrassing in my bathroom right now? I hope not. I hope not. Garage. Okay, I have some little updates in my kitchen. I put together my bar cart. I don't think I showed you this yet. This is the bar cart that I had in my condo at Rhode Island. It's um, like mirrors and gold. I really like it. But I put this all together. I have some roses up here. I got this um, like cocktail mixer set just from Amazon. And then I got this corkscrew. I love it. I got this from Rolling Greens. It's just like a wooden corkscrew. And then I just have my bottles displayed. Obviously, I have some poppy in the back. I have this tiki hut that I just got in Big Bear. Colin got me a little Big Bear trip for my birthday. And we went to this cute gift shop. And I got this tiki hut. It's so little. And there's little bar stools. And I just want to be small and go in the tiki hut. I think I'm gonna hang it on a tree outside. I think that'd be cute. This is so small, but I I was really excited for this. My rubber spatula. I have a rubber spatula that matches the rest of my kitchen utensils and it has little flowers on it. This is the thing I was most excited for in the entire house and now I have it. This is from William Sonoma. I also got my like lemon zester in the mail. I've never zested a lemon in my life. And then over in this corner, my mom got me this for my birthday. It's this little like candy jar from Mackenzie Childs. I think I'm gonna put Starburst in it. Why not? Right? She also got me one of their, um, like a canister. She got me a canister with the same pattern as this. And then I got this toaster from William Sonoma. It's like a retro toaster from the brand Hayden. And I think it's really cute. I want to get the ugly air fryer off my counter and just have the toaster right there, but I use the air fryer every single day, so like, why would I put it away? I was debating putting up all of my like cheesy, <laughs> fun pictures that I've collected over the years at the Trading Post, but then I was like, why wouldn't I put those up? Okay, they're so fun, I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm putting them up, so I put my pasta pesto one right over the key holder and then i put some of my cocktail ones over here you gotta admit these are so fun i love these i had to put them up okay for the living room don't mind these things we're gonna try to sell these things on facebook marketplace because i don't need them this coffee table that bar cart that rug and then i have a nightstand that i need to sell I don't know where it is right now. But over here in the living room, I put up this potted plant that I've had for a while, this fake potted plant from West Elm, and then my little fuzzy, hold on. This chair needs to have her moment. This is the best chair in the world. I'm happy it's here. This was at my condo for a while, and it's like the best chair ever. I got this from West Elm, and I have this little stool next to it. I think the little stool is from Amazon, and then I put up my Grey Malin pictures, my Beverly Hills Hotel pictures. They're by Grey Malin. I love these. I had these in my apartment. The plumber just went outside with my old toilet, so I'm waiting for him to come in to make sure none of the cats aren't outside. This is the state of the living room right now. This is the shape for the couch that we went with. One of our cushion covers just disappeared, so the couch is looking a little musty. The coffee table is from West Elm. I just have some roses on there, and I got this coffee table book from Pottery Barn, I think, and then I got this one from West Elm. It's like a nice um, giving tree book and just like a little Cartier book, and I got these coasters from that little Big Bear gift shop that I went to, and I love this. I put up my other Grey Mallon Beverly Hills Hotel picture right here, and I got this basket from Rolling Greens, too. And it fits all my blankets, bro. It's huge. It's a big-ass basket. It fits all my blankets. I have, like, ten of them in there. I just rolled them up. It's a good basket. I've had, like, a bunch of little baskets from Target, but they never fit any of my blankets. This one's great, and it's giant. This lamp is from... Let me get off the floor. This lamp is from West Elm. I added some stuff to these big shelves right here. I just did, like, a little Target 
Actually, I think that's from West Elm too. A little fake plant, some driftwood from Pottery Barn, and then I got these two things. Oh, that flower is dead, boy. I got these two things from that little Big Bear gift shop. They're just like little cute wooden things, but this flower is dead. And then on this ledge, I put a couple things. Um, You are insane. Oh wait, I got a cat. I didn't even tell you guys that I got a cat. Taz, come here. This is Tazington. Hi. Taz has lost his mind. Colin was begging me for a dog for a couple months and I was like, I'm not ready for a dog. So then on my birth, or the night before my birthday, he was like, what about a cat? You wanna go to the shelter tomorrow? I was like, sure. I'm so down for as many cats as you want. So we went to the same shelter that I got Colton and Venus at and we found Taz. Somebody actually stole Taz last week. I have that whole story time on TikTok. I'm not gonna get into it. It was a very turbulent, emotional day, but we have him back. The reason I have that pimple on my face that was like pussing this morning is because Taz licks my face all night long. The other night, he must have woke me up like six times and he'll just like give my entire face a bath, which I kind of love. I'm like, whatever. You can wake me up whenever you want. Yes, you can. His name is Tazington. Taz for short. He gets along great with the other cats. I've never seen anything like, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. The day we brought him home, which was my actual birthday, the 12th of June, he didn't hide. He was just sprinting around the house. He had the zoomies. He made friends with all of my cats. They love him. It was like the smoothest transition I've ever seen with a cat. So it was meant to be. But, <laughs> but anyways, this is the ledge that separates my dining room from the living room. I just put this, um, I got this from Amazon. It's called Walk With Me New York. She also has a, I think a Hamptons version of this, but it's really cute. So I have this on here, another piece of driftwood, another plant, and I got these trays for the couch for when we're laying on the couch and we want to like put like our drink and whatnot on these trays. I got them from Amazon. I have some bar stools right here from West Elm. I put up a picture of Hollywood that I got from the trading post. And then all of my dining room furniture came in, I think two days ago, and it looks so good. This dining room is just so perfect, especially with the courtyard right there. It's just so pretty. I'm so happy I got all my furniture in. I got the table and the chairs and the buffet table all from West Elm. I just love it so much and these chairs are so comfy. This plant over here, I think it's from West Elm. Every, literally everything I got is from West Elm and Pottery Barn. I don't remember which I got this plant from, but Jordy actually got me this picture for my birthday. There's this guy at the Trading Post in LA. The Trading Post is like a big flea market that happens every Sunday in Los Angeles. And there's this guy that has like a stand set up that claims he's been dumpster diving at the Beverly Hills Hotel since like the 50s. And over the years, he's just collected like just shit that the hotel throws away in the dumpster. And it's like cool. And he makes these art pieces from them. My dad has one of them, but Jordy got this for me and I love it. It's an old menu from the Polo Lounge. Like everything's like $2. I love old menus and I love this hotel. So this is just like perfect for my dining room. I got a frame for it, I put it up. There's another stand at the Trading Post that just sells old menus and mm, I love it. And I love the Polo Lounge, so. This is so fun. And then the Airbnb that me and Colin stayed at in Big Bear had these vintage bookshelf edition board games. And I ordered some online because I love board games, but they're so ugly. Like I would never display a board game in my home because that's just like ugly. But these are pretty. Look, I got Monopoly because me and Colin are obsessed with Monopoly all of a sudden. I got Scrabble and then I also ordered Life and Sorry, but those haven't come in yet. And I think I'm just gonna keep them right here in the dining room. Okay, I'll speed through the next couple of things because this is getting long. But this is the guest room that's on the backyard. Everything's set up here the way I like. This is also Marty's bedroom, so all of his bird stuff is in here. He's outside right now. Hi, birdie. He loves the backyard. But yeah, this guest room is done. The bathroom is done. Well, not done. I ordered um, like toilet paper racks and towel racks for all the bathrooms, so those aren't in yet. But I have all of this stuff on the counter. Everything's done in here, the mirror is in. And then down this hallway are the other two guest rooms. Oh, <laughs> that's a box spring. Anyways, um, this is the courtyard guest room. This is also the cat room, so it doesn't look that great. But this guest room is on the courtyard and yeah, it smells like a animal shelter in here. Um, this is the other guest room. I just did all this the other day. This room is just filled with boxes. Now it's like, I'm just gonna pick at it for the next month. I'm not gonna do 
it all at once, but then I smoked some weed and I did the whole thing. So, everything looks good in here. There's no decorations obviously yet, but the bathroom's done. This is the bathroom and this one looks the same. And then I'll show you the upstairs updates in a little bit because there's a man in my bathroom installing a toilet. I just made breakfast. I really want to eat it outside. It's so nice out, but the plumber is here and I don't trust strangers to not accidentally let my cats outside, so I want to stay here. I make this every single day. I need to put you on. From day three of living here and going grocery shopping, I've been eating this every day for breakfast. It's an everything bagel, toasted with plant-based cream cheese, cucumber, jalapeno, bell pepper, shallot, olive oil, black pepper, and everything but the bagel seasoning. And I use the little um, Dave's Killer Bread everything bagels. So good. Chad, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> this cat is just crazy all day. He never stops. <laughs> Girl, you run weird. been a really big reader it's my passion I since like I was a really young kid I've went through like a, a book or two a week since I was like six years old <laughs> so I ordered this really nice bookcase and it's my dream one day to have like a library in my house I could actually probably make one now but I ordered a really nice bookcase for all my favorite books but my mom has a lot of my books from when I still lived at home I moved out when I was 18 so all my books from when I was a kid until I was like 18 are with my mom. So she's calling me right now and we're gonna go through all of my books in the basement and she's putting together like a big package and she's shipping me all those books. I'm most excited for all my John Green books. You guys remember those? Like Paper Towns and shit? Looking for Alaska? Oh my God. All right, let's do it. Mom. Not my, not my sex health books that you forced me to read. No, I don't want it. That book traumatized me, bitch. I was like frightened of the computer room because I knew that's where it lived. Ew, get rid of it. I forgot that there was Hannah Montana books. Me and my mom just went through all my books. I'm having her send me like all my old J14 magazines, all the Bop magazines, all that shit. And I'm putting them on display somewhere in my house. I have like every issue from back in the day. So I need to put them on display somewhere. I have a bunch of laundry loads in the washing machine and I have my landscaper here right now fixing one of my fences. Well, he's not fixing it, he's taking it down and putting up a new one because my cat figured out a way to climb it. So I had to get a new fence. And then I have this guy, Walter, coming over to discuss backyard lighting with me in a little bit. And I think Ronnie, my contractor, is coming over too in a little bit and my dad is coming over to do something i don't know so i'm just chilling right now i'm gonna read for a little bit outside catch some rays i don't know i'm reading kill switch right now by penelope douglas and it's so good i have to run errands but i don't want to leave the house because there's people coming over so i'm just gonna wait until everyone's gone and then go do my stuff I made a TikTok yesterday talking about how I got these like really nice glass Air One Tupperwares that I've been thinking about for the past month. Like, I'm not kidding, I love these Tupperwares. And I packed Colin's lunch in them and everyone was commenting on the TikTok like, he's gonna lose those, he's gonna leave them rotting somewhere. I was like, my boyfriend isn't an asshole. I don't know about yours. And I just like, <laughs> I don't think Colin would do that to me. He knows how much I love these Tupperwares. But he just sent me a picture of the empty Tupperwares, safe and sound saying that he finished his lunch. I also find it funny that girls will comment underneath my TikToks when I'm making him food. Like, oh my God, how do you find the motivation to do this for your man? Like, I couldn't, I just like, I wish I enjoyed it. I'm like, girl, your boyfriend can make his own food. Like, if you don't like to do it, he can make his own food. The only reason I do it is because I like it. Like, I love like doing little activities. Um, I don't do it because I'm like, oh baby, like I'm gonna do everything for you. Like, uh, that's not why I do it. Girls, if you don't like making your man lunch, don't make it, don't make it, he can do it himself. I promise he'll be just fine. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed 
and I'm gonna try to leave the house. This bathing suit is from Kulani Kini's, by the way. It's one of my favorite bathing suits of all time. It's so cute. And I'm covered in sweat, but I already showered, so I'm not gonna shower again. I'm just gonna leave the house sweaty. Sexy pepper grinder. I made a little lunch. I thought of this while I was at the grocery store the other day and I got a lettuce boat and I did impossible meat crumbles and I cooked like shallots in it with zucchini and bell pepper and I just topped it with avocado, tomato, parmesan cheese, and pepper. And it's giving like a little lettuce boat taco. Mmm. <laughs> I need to vent about something a little bit because I'm just a little bit confused. I have five cats and I now live in a house. So when you have pets and you live in a house, like, you know, it's, you have to like kind of sneak out the door, especially if it's like sneaky cats that try to like get through you when you're opening the door, like the foot thing. I feel like that's so, especially if you work in houses, like I feel like that's something that you would master, you know? But I feel like the people, like the guys that work at my house, like some of them, are just like they just don't care and like the first week that all my stuff was here and my cats were here and stuff i wasn't here and there was obviously working worker guys coming in and out of my house all the time and if i had known that at the time i would have felt so uncomfortable but at least now i'm here all the time so whenever someone's coming here to do something i'm home which is good sorry i had to move my car there's so many people at my house but like the guy that was here this morning he was awesome about it like i was still hanging out by the door just to make sure but he slipped in and out like he didn't leave the door open or anything once i told him that i had cat but like someone that has been with me working on this house since day one like he should know I just watched him like leave the front door wide open and just walk like to his car and my cat went outside I, I got Roger everything was fine like but good thing I was standing next to the door I was like dude like come on I was like you can't be leaving the doors open like my cats are mean the world to me if one of my cats got out my life would be over my life would be over until the minute that I found them like I would have to look for the cat until I felt like I, I, you can't just like, it's not like nothing to me. It's not like, oh, if the cat gets out, no big deal. Like, no, that's, they're my life. And I feel like that's the case with most people and their pets. So it just, it boggles my mind that some people can just be like so careless. And like a couple weeks ago, um, my landscaper was here and he had somebody with him that I didn't know. But like I told my landscaper, obviously I was like, hey, just make sure he knows that my cats are outside right now in the courtyard. So like leave that fence shut. And he was like, yeah, of course. And then I'm in the backyard like watching because I, I I just get nervous. And the guy that was with my landscaper that I don't know very well, he opened up the gate to the courtyard, walked in and left the gate open. I was like, dude. And good thing I'm always here stalking them because like I get so nervous, but like I just have to always be home now when someone comes over. Cause sometimes like I'm not home. Like a lot of the guys that work on like at least the outside of my house, like they don't, I don't need to be home for them to be here. Anyways, my dad just hit my Jeep but it's like, it didn't hurt me. He just hit my tire. Cause my driveway is so tiny. I was trying to like squeeze out. Um, I'm going to the grocery store. And I have to go to the smoke shop cause I've been literally hitting this vape. Ew, where is it? My dad's buddy gave me this vape like three weeks ago and it's still kicking, but it, it tastes like, like sewer. Like there, it is, it is burnt up in there. So I like, I need to go to the smoke shop. I just got to the grocery store and I'm like, I fear I need something sweet because my mom was just talking about cookie dough on the phone. So I'm like, I'll just grab something sweet from the bakery and I'll walk around grocery shop and eat my sweet treat. But, or I could get stuff to make muffins and then I could keep them at the house because Colin loves muffins. So I could put them in a cute little fucking pastry display box and he could grab one before he goes to work and I will have muffins to eat after. I might need to make muffins. I've never, I don't think I've ever made muffins. What do I make, blueberry? I have that zester. I could make a lemon zest muffin. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I, 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 let me think through some things right now. I need silence. My new neighborhood Whole Foods is like really chill. Like there was nothing chill about my last neighborhood Whole Foods. It was fucking chaos. This one, like there's never anyone in the parking lot. It's a small parking lot. The inside's chill. Everyone's kind of chill. Okay, Tara. I just texted my dad because he's at my house to see if he could check if I have baking powder. And 
I think I'm gonna do the muffins. Like there's so little people in here that I can like vlog and speak comfortably without getting awkward. I always try to remember to bring like a little little jacket when I'm grocery shopping, even if it's 90 degrees out because it's so cold in here. I got one of these pop and bottle coffees. These are so good. They sent me PR once and I felt as though Harry Styles himself had like sent me a handwritten letter. <laughs> it's so good. All right, to the smoke shop we go. My favorite place in the world. That, like I will put off that errand for months. I used to just like hoard old vapes in my closet. Like so I wouldn't have to go to the smoke shop and I could just like bang a few extra rips but like that's like so gross i need to go here's some random information for your afternoon um flavored vapes are banned in los angeles so but some of the smoke shops are still like here's the secret menu you know i have one of those in my old neighborhood the one where my apartment was but now i have to find a new one of those i just checked out my first smoke shop of living in my new house and they are not one of those places he was like yeah you want clear tobacco i'll take clear i i kind of i'm not talking about vapes anymore that's so disgusting i may be a reformed version of what i used to be but i, I still have trashy tendencies i think i'm a good cook do you agree yes i'm not a good baker Okay, I've never successfully made a good baked good. Um, I'm attempting muffins. This is really sticky. I'm using a whisk with no end and I have no measuring cups. So I'm measuring dry ingredients by ounces. And this is from my juicer. And this dough smells like bread. Maybe a little bit more milk too. That looks very dense. Tastes like olive oil. <laughs> oh God, more sugar please. Okay. Look at my little muffins. They look so good. They might taste like olive oil. What? I just found the kitten in the sink licking up the batter from the bowl. Just like your mommy. This is the best looking thing I've ever baked. So hopefully they taste good. What kind of hiding spot is this? He's hiding from you. Here's the big ball. There's fear. What that <laughs> smell? Is that you? No, that's him. What's on him? What is that? Did you like my muffins? I love your muffins. That's not what you were saying a minute ago. You said they aren't bad. What? I said that about your pumpkin roll. You never ate my pumpkin roll. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I didn't? I made my pumpkin roll at like Ava. Oh, I thought you made one at Thanksgiving. You're not talking about a pumpkin roll. You've never eaten a pumpkin roll. I thought roll. you made a pumpkin roll at Thanksgiving. No, I didn't. I made mac and cheese and a weird turkey. You made a dessert, though. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. By the way, you guys, I recommend this book. It's it's really weird. It's really freaky, but I I really like it. I'm almost halfway through Kill Switch by Penelope. It's pretty fucked up. Um. There's a pretty hefty disclaimer in the beginning of the book, but I think it's fucking awesome. I just got the rest of my vintage bookshelf edition board games in the mail, so we're playing Life. I got Life and I got Sorry. So now I have all of them. And we're gonna play Life, because I guess that's Colin's favorite board game, even though he hasn't played it since he was like eight. I've never played Life, but it looks fun. Wow! I just finished Colin's lunch for tomorrow. I will show you my masterpiece, if you will. This this just really excites me. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, for the past six months, I've been dreaming of the day I get to make a bento box for Colin every day for lunch. Like this, this thrills me. Can't explain it. This is the lunch box we got. Okay. A little Air One glass Tupperware with the sandwiches. All right. A glass Air One container with compartments with little snacks. I'm not crazy. A little strawberry protein shake. A little Alani energy. Also look, I fit all of the blueberry muffins in this like canister and they're in the middle of the counter. I'm gonna get started on dinner. I'm not that hungry because I ate a couple muffins, but. Hey 
that one's actually my least favorite over the screeching. Can I admit something to you? That's the one I'm talking to. When we started this game, I was like, oh shit, and I'm vlogging too. Like, I'm gonna show them, like, I can beat them again. Because I have won, like, six times in a row. Four times in a row. Four times in a row. Five. And I just fucking crushed you. I annihilated you. I have $300 and no properties. And she owes me a thousand. <laughs> but to be fair, normally, this is me, this is me. I will not sulk the way you do. Whenever Colin loses in Monopoly, he goes and sulks in the corner. And you go and tell it to thousands of people, this is your version of sulking. No, if I was sulking, I'd be like, I wouldn't want anyone to know. And I wouldn't talk. I'm still smiling. You don't smile for two hours after you lose. I'm competitive. <laughs> I hate losing. Then be better. Oh. Toothpaste. I'm looking at it, Colin. What? Why is it on there? Stop. <laughs> Drop it. Stop. <laughs> Colin, don't listen. I'm doing my peek in my pet. But you can't know that yet because we haven't done our peek in our pet yet. Okay. Plug your ears. My pet was... Actually, no, that wasn't a pet. <laughs> <laughs> the bidet just shot all over the wall. Why would you turn the bidet when you're not on the toilet? I was trying to figure it out. It wasn't working. Figure it out while you're sitting on the toilet. I did. Oh. Colin. <laughs> That's so... That's not even doing anything. It's going to dry out. <laughs> that was my pet. That's a power behind it. God damn. I want to sit on it now. Okay, guys, I'm going to go sit on the bidet. I'm going to let you guys go because that's that's not appropriate. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Good night.